What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Four Dummies. And tonight, I am joined with the other three dummies. I have Mr. Robert Detoff. Hello. Mr. Jisk One. Yo, what's happening? And Mr. Skullface. Hey. Leave your feelings at the door. They have no place here. We're coming for your throat. We're out for blood. If you didn't want that, you should have never sent anything. With that being said, we're going to start off with Jake C. If we start with the third picture, that's the more overview picture. And it looks like he's got billies. So let me tell you what I find most unnerving about this. So I'm guessing that they're billies with six shelves on each, but only three shelves on each are lit. Whereas, if you adjusted the lighting, you would have six shelves on one lit, which I think would probably be the best choice, as if to suggest to people or yourself, one day, I'll have the other lit. Yeah, that is mm. it's a bizarre choice, for sure. Well, He's definitely taken <laughs> care in posing. Yes, he has. He has. In, like I'm looking at some of these pieces. Is that the MMC Bruticus or is that the Combiner Wars Bruticus? Robert, do you know? I feel like this is your your specialty to be able to distinguish this. This has got to be Combiner Wars. It just ha- look. You can tell by the feet. I yeah, think the- and then there's like double dealer. That's, I was gonna say yeah, the same this thing. This is all. This is a chug shelf that's lit. But the, the figures. So I'll be. I'll be honest. The figures are spaced well enough and posed. Doesn't really bother me. The second shelf. <laughs> Oh, God, that Menasaur, dude. What are you doing? Okay. That's lit, that Menasaur. That's lit. So so when I look at this second shelf, uh, it makes me ask a question. So do you have lights at the front and back of this shelf? And if so, why did you choose to just light three shelves of each bookcase instead of lighting all six? Would you have that shadow cast? Uh, I, yeah, I would, that's what I was going to say the same thing. In that Menasaur shelf, I think it's just the lights in the front because of the way the shadows are. I don't think so. Oh, no, you're right. There it is, too. You're right. Oh. On the Bruticus shelf as well. You yeah, see I see that. on the Menasaur shelf it is too. See the bug on the wall in the back? The the uh, bombshell? Just stuck to the wall in the back behind Megatron? Um, Yes, I do see him. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's fine. On the Menasaur shelf and on all these shelves, really, I'm just like, why? What are you doing here? So you have Combiner Wars Menasaur. You have some chuggish, ruggish runabout and run amok. Then you have some War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron stuff. Then you have the Transformers Prime Megatron. Like, you don't you don't you don't know what you want this to be so you have more stuff um than you actually have the space for or you could focus your stuff a bit better you know and have like a prime shelf whether it be good guys and bad guys mixed but you could have a prime shelf you could have a chug shelf a masterpiece shelf whatever the, the same thing kind of goes with the uh the the lights like you have two sets of lights on each shelf instead of having a minimum of one one light on each shelf and while the set of two lights illuminates the sh- out of each shelf and they look great what looks bad is that the other ones are not lit and then he has a chug shelf next to his detail shout out and that has some dioders in the back it's just it has two it's two I like how you said the back <laughs> Well, I'm glad you brought up the the Detoffs because I do think that he does have actually, ironically, some good looking Detoff shelves. I think the Overlord Six Shot shelf looks really good with Tarn in the middle. It doesn't make a whole ton of sense, but I think it works. What Bruticus is that on top? Is that Zeta? Yes. Yeah, because of the big old yeah. propellers. It's dark of the moon, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is one where I honestly think, the, and then just looking at just everything else in this office that you have is that what I'm going to call it. I think this is one of these situations where I would take everything off and just start all over. I, I just think no, no, and I'm not saying it's to be rude. I would just I would just reposition everything. I would rethink how you have everything on the shelves. I think this just this could just do with a good uh, Once rearrange. Over. Yeah, I, I agree, especially if you look at the second Detolf picture where he's got all these boxes. There's like a priority mailbox. There's all this stuff. Like, like it's just like you have some room here that you haven't taken advantage of, and you just sort of have stuff, you know, thrown right. about. Like, just sort it and and get that s- Unicron out of that detolf. And yeah, I think I think what this guy, I think what your collection needs, honestly, yeah, is I think you just need to rearrange all your furniture, kind of just start all over, bring it back to formula, mm-hmm. as a uh, old Green Goblin said. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think he has some poses. I think he's aware of the height and distributing things and trying to make that look. You know, I think he's definitely put some effort in, but there's still a lot. There's just a lot going on. Let's move on to yeah. the next one because I don't think it'll take long. This is Daniel C. He only sent three pictures. <laughs> you know, it's good. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
So Daniel C. Let me start with the positive. Yep. Unicron mm-hmm. with Superion and Bruticus looks fine. You could probably take the Marvel and the two Stormtroopers off. And then you have this other bit of business going on. Yeah, Dan- some- Daniel C. This seems like an unsafe environment. Well, looking at the big picture, it looks like he uses those studio series as kindling. And he grabs a box. <laughs> Squirt there was some gasoline right next to it, and then he bonfire going on his back. Daniel C, you are not safe here. You need to sort this out. This looks dangerous. Um, Do you know anything else about this guy? Like, is he said anything? Was it a joke? Like, I just don't understand. Like, so it could be. It could be. It could be. Maybe that's. What but I just got to take it as it comes. Like, this looks like hoarding conditions. It looks unsafe. It looks dangerous. And I really, I, I'm like, I suggest you sort this because this has the recipe in it to make a very, very bad cake for you. I want to see the rest of this you sent one photo that actually looks legit where's the rest of this show yeah that is weird isn't it <laughs> like where is i want to see the rest of that stuff and then there's like oh, a uh, he's got that little robot from that disney movie down there with a the voltron yeah wally <laughs> it's so funny isn't it mitten steel box collectors i just don't get it what joy do you get in buying it if you're just stacking it up somewhere mm. you don't even open it handle it what's the point just uh-huh. because you could say you own it when do we ever own anything for real Oh, dude, like, deep, deep, dude. I like the three, the Unicron and the combiners, but... <laughs> you don't like the stack of boxes um, haphazardly yeah. thrown about the basement? No, you don't like that part? I don't. Like that it gives me anxiety, the basement. Oh. I just can't get over the truly dangerous conditions of the house. That fridge hasn't been opened up in years. It's got boxes in there. If you open it up, you just got more figures. Not stored in there. All right, let's move forward. This is at Tim Rocket Customs, and he's got like a lot of stuff. They're a bit packed in there. Nona. The Nona. I said he's but, got the Nona. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but I'll tell you what does kind of work is he has some shelves that you can tell are like kind of color coordinated, like Rodimus and Iron Man and Blaster and the Predacons, where it's like all oranges and yellows. Yeah, I and, like, is this what you're looking at? This yeah, wall of... Uh, yeah, I'm looking at this specific portion, but yes, they're all, you can see they're all color coordinated within that. And like, that does, that that is kind of smart. It does kind of work. Very cool. I like the brick wall background. Yeah, yeah that's the first too. time we've seen that. That too. Those figures behind yeah. that, the Nona glass, it it just looks like a bunch of kids looking to see if you can come out and play. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is like the, the wall that you have behind this couch against the brick wall, like even the stuff that looks a little cluttered, it still kind of works. It still seems like a natural part of that space. But the stuff that you have behind glass, it looks it looks awful. It really does. It really looks bad. One, two, three. Photo three. Okay. Between Snarl and Grimlock. What figure is that? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> is that the Monsters? I don't know. I'm guessing. That's the Monster. And he... And he customized he, it. He customized he it. He did, but he, what did he do with the box? Is most most importantly, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> that's in that other guy's basement. <laughs> their neighbors. <laughs> Oh, we have I really like so this good. color grouping. I feel like it's mm-hmm. something completely original. We mm-hmm. haven't, we have not seen at all. Yeah, it really, really works. It's very cool, and it like fades almost, like uh, from like you know the red to the blue to the green. Like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I mean, yeah, I don't know that there's really anything that we need to tell this guy. It's it's fine. Yeah. I mean, I guess I mean, said it probably it could still whatever's in the glass. Use some risers, maybe. Like if you look at yeah, like the you know whatever this yeah. is, like calyx uh, or whatever it is. Um, but what. Whatever you figured out with these calyxes, you just need to apply that to this glass shelf, the known as cabinet, <laughs> because all that stuff is just crammed in there like sardines behind this like soulless plate of glass with the wood exterior that takes up a good portion of the display space and just it's just not good. It clashes with the walls. You yeah. Can't have well, not sh- even that. It's just like it, it clashes with everything clashes with everything like the wood doesn't match the figures. The figures don't match the glass. The glass doesn't match the wood. Like everything is working against itself, um, which is ironic that you have this because in this other section, the colors are obviously so important to you. I like what he did with the end cap. Yeah. I mean, the wood to match, but I like, I like. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that too. Yeah, yeah like, I was going to say my only complaint was that I wish, wish it was black, but. Yeah, paint it to match. Yeah, but I think that this, this other thing, even though it's not lit, like it has enough personality in it. Like in the fact that like the one shelf, it has like these, like, you know, these, I don't know what the f*** that is, but it's got a whole bunch of sh- 
that I don't recognize along with like the thing, but the colors match. It's like the second shelf over from the top next to the primes. It looks like a bunch of robots, but it also has the thing there and it just, <laughs> but it just works because the colors work and you're just like, oh, shit. Like, I like all of these things, and they all share this same color palette, and I'm putting them together. And I think that that's smart. But yeah, I think that was good. Uh, The next one is from Rith K. So let's just start with the first picture. I like the comics laid out, and the figures are posed. Yep. I feel like the big ones are in the back, the small ones are in the front. It all kind of works. I don't really have a whole lot negative. They would be better, of course, under lights, but I don't have a whole lot negative to say about that one. You could even put figures if you wanted on top of the stack books. You know, that wouldn't bother me. I like Megatron Galvatron fighting over the Matrix. Yeah. Kind of Megatron looks like you stole my purse. <laughs> Do you think that Prime should be on a riser? Um, you, I, it would have to be a very little one. Yeah, not in that space. The second one, we have the same issue that Robert has kind of consistently harped on, but he's right. You got the Dinobots and a Detoff, and as a result, you can't get them in any kind of placement together, and subsequently, they seem completely f***. Meaningless. Yeah. And you only have four shelves. You have five Dinobots. Like, even if you want to do this theme with robot and alt mode, it's not going to work here. Take them out of here. They don't, they, they, it doesn't work. I agree. Yeah. I it's, think you're better off putting the Dinobots in this, in this cabinet that you have. Yeah. So let's move on to I that would, space. This full it's cabinet. It's the same shelf that we just saw. It just has cabinets on it, right? I mean, it just has doors on it. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen this before. Um, these people that like just are so terrified of dust that they're willing to sacrifice the way that something looks in order to kind of keep dust out. It's hard to see it. It's hard to see what you got, buddy. You know, because you've got these big glass doors with frames over top. And ironically, if you look at the Detoffs to the right, the yeah, Flame Toy good. Star Saber and the Jet Fire and the one with the Drift and the the two Drifts and oh, like the whole right Detoff looks amazing. Yeah, I agree. Yep. That's yep. the best thing you got. Yeah, yep. yep. It's just framed so well. Yep. It's well and not crowded. That's fantastic. It looks perfect. Perfect. So I'll t- I, I mean, I, you know, I like I know you don't, but I like the glass doors on this bookcase. Mm. I know you can argue that the silver thing in the middle breaks it up and, and it kind of has. But I don't know. I think something makes it look a little bit classier with the glass. Super distracting. It is. The glare is more distracting to me than the than the scene in the middle. I think it looks messy. I mean, Bobby's different because he has like dios. And I never even thought about it when looking at your dios. The entire Billy. Is there a rhyme or reason in the ordering of each shelf? Like, is this? This guy has Autobot, Decepticon, Autobot, Autobot. For, like, for, for mine? Yeah. For mine, yes. For mine, the, the, the top layer is Season 1. The second layer is Season 2. The third layer is Season 2. The fourth layer is Season 3. The fifth layer is Season 3. And the sixth layer is Season 4. So anyway, this is good. Right. I think it looks nice. I think it looks I think it looks nice. You got to get the Detolfs off the floor. Get those Dinobots That's out of that true. one Detolf. Put the books That's on true. the comics on the bottom shelf. Move, every, move everything up. Get the... F- glass doors off of there it's distracting I don't know. and use the layout that you've done here with the right detolf as a guide to how every shelf should look now now just really quick the detolf with the dinobots mm-hmm. one way it could possibly work is you have bot dino bot dino you have to have every shelf be bot dino you have to get doubles of everything to make this display work right and then you could have you could have swoop on top right and you can yeah. do bot dino. yeah dino. yeah yeah that's fair that's it, fair and if you lift them up with a shelf underneath Mm-hmm. Um, it yeah. could give you an opportunity to do something as well. Pose them the same way, like you should. It'll look kind of cool. I, I, I'm also for the pyramid. So if you if sludge is the only one you have, put that on the top. Move the other ones to the bottom. Yeah. Same thing with the uh, drifts should be the on the top. The, the prime should be in the next shelf. Yeah, you, I agree with that. And and also like I know this sounds petty, but like you have snarl in bot mode and snarl in robot mode, left to right. You should alternate them with slag on the next one and then alternate them back so that it's like yeah. uh so it, it doesn't look the same so it's not like a a little thing on the right side all the way down so to speak and a bigger thing on the on the left side all the way down so to speak yeah it will compositionally will make it yes yeah. bounce, and bounce around from either angle you have something to look at and i'll say like i think a lot of your like robot shelves in the middle are really well laid out like i think that your like movie shelf is really well laid out i think that your season 2 shelf for autobots is really well laid out like i think you have a lot of really well laid out shelves. I just can't make any f-ing sense of it because they've got these two big 
glass doors sitting on them that are reflecting light off of everything else and they have these two gray strips down the center. Good if looking. you must have glass doors on them, get custom glass doors that you can magnetize acro across it without those gray strips and seal it in, if you must. Or get a feather duster and dust it once a year. The pass. Keep the glass on there. Uh, I need a customized Moss toys. I want a triplicon uh, with a two-inch wrench in his mouth. I need um, a trash compactor filled with toys. A Thor Marvel Legends holding Mjolnir the hammer in his right hand and an actual hammer in his left hand. I want a picture of Jeffrey Dobbs. <laughs> <laughs>